I'm just about to show you how regular creators are getting an extra four to five figures per month without making more content. So let's get into it. Now, a lot of people don't know this, but you know, you can double or even triple your income by just translating your videos into other languages. And no, you don't have to speak another language, you don't have to hire voice actors. There's a tool for that. And this tool is called Capwing's AI dubbing tool. And it makes the whole process almost effortless. Let me explain how this works. You see, the real opportunity here is this, all right? 80% of views on YouTube comes from outside the US. Now, this is billions of people who might never see your content because, well, it's in English. But here's where it gets crazy. Mr. Beast, the biggest YouTuber on the planet, has said that dubbing his videos into Spanish, Portuguese, and other languages had brought him hundreds of millions of extra views, and of course, millions in additional revenue. And he didn't make new content, he just dubbed what he already had. So here is the big opportunity. You can do the same by just using this tool, which is called Capwing's AI dubbing tool. You don't have to hire a team. You just use Capwing. So this video is going to be a practical tutorial. I'll just walk you through exactly how to dub your videos using Capwing's AI and how you can start reaching entirely new audiences around the world. And by the way, this strategy is completely free. If you start with Capwing's basic plan, there's going to be a link down there. And no, there's no need to invest in a whole team of translators or editors. But I have to tell you one thing, and that is not all languages will perform the same on YouTube. Some regions like Latin America or India or Southeast Asia have massive YouTube audiences and advertisers pay differently depending on the country. So let me just break it down for you. Let's just say you dub your top video into Spanish, Hindi and Portuguese. Well, you've just unlocked three of the biggest YouTube markets in the world. And if you pick the right categories like tech, education, finance or entertainment, you can actually earn more in some international markets than you do in English. It's cool. So here's what you have to do. Just click the link down there. Click here on this button, get started. Just make yourself an account. You can do it with Google, Facebook, whatever. And this is gonna be your dashboard. Then you can easily just click on this button here, translate. And here you can see that you can upload your file from your device or from a URL. It supports large file uploads, actually up to two hours, which is really great. And yes, you can do it with multiple languages at once. And this just speeds up your process if you just want to translate your video in multiple languages. And yeah, they support 52 languages. It's just too good. If you already have the translation, you can upload that within the dubbing flow in the form of SRT or VDT file. This is the button for it. You should just click on this one if you have it. And there are some advanced settings here if you want to use this. You can add your own translation rules within the brand glossary here in order to customize your translations and you know just save time on editing. This is particularly good for companies that need certain brand words translated in a particular way. So here you've got the original language here. You choose, there's many here. And of course you can translate to 52 as I've already said. So let's just go with Spanish here. Here it is, you've even got these differentiations here. I'll just use this one now. And of course, you can clone the original voice here, or you can use a stock voice. And there's huge selection here as well. I'll go with my own here, and I'll click just on dub the video. So once a dub is generated, there will be four visible components in the timeline. First of all, there's going to be subtitles, which are here. There's going to be video here. There's going to be the background audio, and there's going to be TDS, or translated voiceover, right? So let me just show you how this sounds like. Now, este es un video de mí hablando directamente a la cámara y estoy hablando en inglés. Now, it is really, really funny listening to myself talking in Spanish, but this works because as you see, this was the script before. So this is a video of me speaking directly to the camera and I'm talking in English. This was the original one. So let me just play it for you. This is a video of me speaking directly to the camera and I'm talking in English. And in Spanish, now, once more. Este es un video de mí hablando directamente a la cámara y estoy hablando en inglés. It's just good. Actually, it's perfect. Also, you get the subtitles as well, just from the dubbing. And you can easily edit any words here. So, for example, if you don't like this, you know, if you don't want like certain words in it, you just do it like this, you delete it or you add words, right? And all you have to do now is to apply the changes to the dubbed audio. 
Also, you can highlight any word like this and you can just play with brand glossary here to add a pronunciation rule. After that, you just regenerate that section to apply your change. And of course, this here, when you click on your voiceover, this here is to adjust the speed. So you can slow it down, you can speed it up to match the timing of the original video. And this is something that you will probably use because when you translate to one language to from one language to another, the translation will often be like longer or shorter than the original language. That's just, you know, the speed of the particular language. Here you've got speed, you know, a little bit incremental. So you can just go with 1.05, 1.015, or you can just go the other way around. Also, a good thing to know, whenever you just put a new video, you can just play with this. So these, this is under the advanced settings here. It's gonna be easier for you later to speed it up or to slow it down. So this is allow adjustments to video speed. So you can improve timing and quality by adjusting video speed. Just click here, you can just toggle it on and it's just gonna automatically sync up the speed the way it thinks it should be. One more thing, I suggest that you use this here. So this is review transcript before dubbing button. And well, it's just gonna do what it says. It's just gonna review the transcript before it goes over to dub it. So firstly, of course, you're gonna choose the language. Let's just stick to Spanish. And then you can click on review transcript before it even dubs it. Also, when you generate a dub, you have this option, which is of course the best one, it is lip sync. This is gonna make the video look like the video subject is speaking the translated voiceover. And of course, all dubs will have subtitles automatically. Subtitles can be adjusted in the right sidebar. So you just have to click on them like this. You click on the subtitles bar and then you will have all the options here. So you can change the fonts, you can change the size, or you can just use some of these templates that they've got here. And of course, once you're happy, all you have to do is to click on this button here, which is gonna be the export button. When you click on it, you will have the option to choose the format, resolution, compression level if you want that. And just like that, your video is ready to be published in many different languages. Now here's what's really cool. You don't even have to create new channels. You can upload your videos to your existing channel. There's multi-language audio feature on YouTube. Just look up for it and you know, use your own channel, which you already have just in another language for these kind of videos. Or you can just start a dedicated channel, for example, your brand name in Spanish or whatever you want. Now, you might be thinking, is this really gonna make me money? Well, just think about it like this. If your original video is making $500 per month in English and you get even half of that in, let's say, Spanish or Hindi, well, you've just turned one video into a revenue stream three to five times bigger. And as your audience grows, so do sponsorships deals, ad revenue, and brand recognition, all from the content that you already made. So here's what I'd do if I were just starting out. Pick your best performing video, just dub it into two to three new languages with Capwing, upload it to a new YouTube channel, or just enable multi-language audio tracks and just track your performance. Double down on what works, and there you have it. The link is gonna be down there. Capwing is your friend. I'll catch you next time.